G'day guys, welcome to this episode of Aussie English. Today is one simple tip to sound more Australian. Let's go. So today's lesson is going to be focusing on muting the T in words and at the ends of words when it's preceded by an N. So when you have an N and a T in a word or at the end of words, Quite often, we mute the T in Australian English and probably other dialects of English as well. So today we're going to do a series of exercises, guys. They're going to be listen and repeat exercises to help you practice your pronunciation of the muted T. I'm going to say the word with the T, I'm going to say the word with the muted T, and then I'm going to use the word in a sentence with the muted T. So the first set of words is going to be auxiliary verbs and modal verbs that are negated. So can't becomes can't, won't becomes won't, etc. Listen and repeat after me, guys. Aunt. Aunt. They aren't coming. Isn't. Isn't. He isn't coming. Can't. Can't. I can't help you. Won't. Won't. He won't answer. Don't. Don't. I don't know. Doesn't. Doesn't. It doesn't matter. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. It shouldn't matter. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. Couldn't. Couldn't. I couldn't see. So now let's do words that end with N and T. Bent. Bent. I bent the wire. Blunt. Blunt. The knife's pretty blunt. Elephant. Elephant. There's an elephant over there. Content. Content. I'm pretty content. Count. Count. I can count to ten. Dent. Dent. Someone's put a dent in my car. Discount. Discount. Can you hook us up with a discount? Document. Document. Have you read the document? Faint. Faint. I think I'm gonna faint. Hunt. Hunt. Do you guys like to hunt? Lent. Lent. Mum lent me her car. Paint. Paint. I'm going to paint these walls. Point. Point. What's your point? 
stunt. Stunt. He pulled off a pretty wicked stunt. So those are words that end in NT, but now let's do words that have NT within them where the T gets muted. Appointment. Appointment. What time is the appointment? Absent-minded. Absent-minded. He's a little absent-minded. Enchantment. Enchantment. Someone's cast an enchantment on me. Resentment. Resentment. He's feeling a little resentment. Stunt man. Stunt man. I wish I were a stunt man. Printer. Printer. We're going to need a new printer. Center. Center. I'll meet you guys at the shopping center. Counter. Counter. Put your hands on the counter. Hunter. Hunter. That guy likes to hunt because he's a hunter. Mountain. Mountain. We're going to go climb the mountain. Accidental. Accidental. That was accidental. So that's it for today, guys. That was one simple tip to sound more Australian. This is a really common thing for native speakers, at least Australian native speakers of English to do. And it'll definitely help you sound a lot more like an Australian if you practice the pronunciation of NT as just an N sound. And it'll also help you understand and hear when people do this, when native speakers do this, when they're speaking to you. Can you think of any other words that end with NT or have NT in them where you could mute the T? Comment below and let me know. Chat to you later, guys. All the best. G'day, guys. I hope you enjoy that episode of Aussie English. If you want to learn how to use what we learned in this video naturally and effortlessly like an Aussie English speaker, go down into the description and click the link. You'll get instant access to all of the bonus content for this video that will take you through a step-by-step -step process to learn exactly how to use this just like me. You'll also get access to all of the bonus content for the podcast, which you can listen to anywhere, anytime to work on your Aussie English. I'm going to be growing this library over time, guys. I'm going to be adding to it week by week, and it's specifically designed to help you sound just like a fair income Aussie English speaker. So go over there, click the link in the description. I know you're going to love it, and I'll speak to you soon. See you guys.